if you are just getting started with ClickUp or wondering, hey, is it the right tool for me? Well, keep watching this video. In it, I'll walk you through the ClickUp hierarchy, how it affects your projects and tasks, and how to correctly set it up. Hi there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com, and we help companies like yours get automated through portals, apps, and integrations. If you're just starting with ClickUp and wondering how to unlock its full potential, this video is for you. In it, we'll look at the ClickUp hierarchy, how it affects and impacts your projects and tasks, and look at the best ways to set it up for small, medium, and large teams. This is the ClickUp workspace where everything comes together. Now, unlike other work management tools, ClickUp positions itself as an all-in-one solution. It offers project management, calendars, forms, docs, dashboards, whiteboards, and now even an internal chat feature. With an extensive list of features, it is crucial that you have ClickUp set up correctly from an architectural standpoint. You need to understand how to best set it up now so that you can avoid headaches in the future. So let's look together at the ClickUp hierarchy and how you can best use it to set up your team for success. Oh, and we'll also look at how you can handle projects and tasks for small, medium, and large teams. To kick things off, let's consider why are you watching this video? You're likely here to explore ClickUp's project and task management, as well as its reporting. Yes, there are plenty of other features, but when it comes to a work management system, these should be priority number one. The ClickUp hierarchy is the core organizational structure of your work management system. It consists of workspaces, spaces, folders, lists, and tasks. Now, here's where it all comes together. Your ClickUp dashboard. A workspace is the highest level in ClickUp and represents your overall account or company environment. Think of it as a digital office where all your work comes together. Projects, tasks. Now, whether you manage multiple projects or work across different teams, everything happens within this workspace. Next, we have spaces, and this helps you better organize your team by departments. Think marketing, sales, and so on. Within a workspace, you can create spaces. Spaces are used to group projects or tasks by department, team, or project type, helping you keep different areas of work distinct and well organized. In your workspace, you might have spaces like marketing, sales, and product. These separate departments can then work independently while still being under the same umbrella workspace. Next, we have folders, which allows you to group related lists. Now, inside each space, you can create folders. Folders help you further organize your work by grouping related lists together. If you have several related projects or workflows, folders provide structure and make navigating your work smoother. Here in the marketing space, you might create folders such as email campaign and content creation. Within folders, you'll find Lists. Now, lists are where you actively manage your tasks. These can represent specific projects, workflow targets, KPIs, or any other category you would like, and that makes sense to your team. Here in the email campaigns folder, you can create lists like, let's go with 10 poll events and customer outreach and even newsletter. Now tasks live within your lists, and this is the work that you and your team need to do. Inside each list, you create tasks. Tasks represent individual pieces of work or to-dos. You can assign them to team members, set due dates, track their progress, and much more. Here, inside email lists, a task could be created for creating ad copy for new product launch with a due date and an assigned team member. Now, subtasks are pretty simple. They're subtasks of your tasks, and they allow you to break down complex tasks into more actionable items. For more complex pieces of work, tasks can be broken down into these subtasks. If the task is design Instagram ads, subtasks might include draft ad concepts, create visuals, and submit for approval. Comments and attachments allow you to engage by commenting or sharing files. Comments allow you to keep communication and updates in one place, while attachments let you add important files and documents relevant to the task. In the Create Ad Copy for New Product launch, 
task, a team member could add feedback in the comments section and another team member might upload a document with the final ad copy. Now that we have looked at the various components of the ClickUp hierarchy, let's look at how you can best set it up. For most teams, starting with a space for each department or team is the best practice. Within that space, create folders for each project and break down tasks into lists. Each task within the lists represents an actionable item for your team. If you're managing a large team, you could set up spaces within your workspace for your team's different departments, marketing, sales, and product development. Then create folders in your selective space like for campaigns, content, partnerships, and marketing tasks. Then create lists within these folders for your tasks. A common mistake is overcomplicating your workspace, building too many spaces for cross-functional teams. If you are a smaller team, instead use folders to categorize your departments and teams. You could place marketing and sales both in a growth space and then categorize through folders and HR and legal, or that could go in an operation space and then again categorized through folders. One of the keys to a great work management system is constant improvements and reiterations. Meet up with your team, get feedback. What is working, what isn't? Then apply it to the system so that everyone is happy. For small projects, typically handled by a single project manager or owner, I recommend keeping it simple. Use a single list where each project is represented by a task. And if other team members are involved, use subtasks to track their specific work. This structure keeps everything organized without overcomplicating the workflow. When managing medium-sized projects, there's usually more collaboration involved. In this case, create a folder to contain each project and represent individual projects as lists. Each task within the project should be assigned to the respective team member responsible for completing it. This setup allows for better visibility and smoother collaboration across all team members. Now, for larger projects that involve multiple teams or stages, you'll want a more structured approach. I recommend creating a folder for each project and within that folder, break down the project into separate lists for each stage or work stream. This structure allows the project to stay organized even as more team members and complexity are added. So that covers the hierarchy and managing your projects and tasks. But what about reporting? It's important. ClickUp does a great job of visualizing your data or giving you the means necessary to manipulate how it is visualized. Dashboards, they act as a central hub where you can monitor your entire workspace at a glance. You can create custom dashboards to track specific metrics and the flexibility of the widgets or cards allows you to display different types of information in a way that suits your team and your workflow. So once you set up your hierarchy for success, you won't want to be consistently referring to it. Instead, you want to visualize your work, your projects, your tasks, your team through custom dashboard views. One of the key benefits of dashboards is the ability to see all your projects and tasks in one place, rather than jumping through the ClickUp hierarchy, trying to find those specific tasks. You can pull data in from any space, folder, or list across your workspace, giving you a bird's eye view of your ongoing work, which is super helpful when managing multiple projects as it allows you to compare progress between projects identify bottlenecks and track deadlines, overdue tasks and upcoming dates. Dashboards are also collaborative, meaning you and your team can come together to have the same view of metrics, goals, sprints, whatever that be. Now, you can customize dashboards to fit specific roles, teams or departments. So you want to utilize this feature much more than you want to jump through the ClickUp hierarchy. If you need help building out your work management tool or automating parts of your business, don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com. Our team is offering a free 30-minute consultation, so make sure to book yours today.